Hey, what's up everyone? My name is Colleen. I'm a physical therapist and you're watching Clinical Sprinkles. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than normal because instead of talking about PT related things, although this is kind of a PT related thing, we're going to be doing a product review. So I was kindly gifted this product. It is the back hammer and it comes in this nice convenient case and I'll show you what it is. Basically, it's a percussion tool. So percussion is where you're getting repetitive uh, motion onto that's being produced by an instrument. So this is a specific brand called the Backhammer. It's made by Portland Health Supply. And so basically, I get to do a product review for you all. And if you're watching this video, you may be watching because you're interested in the giveaway that I'm hosting on my Instagram. So if you're not already following me on my Instagram page, please follow, it's at Clinical Sprinkles. I'll link it below so that if you're not already a follower, then you can find me. Okay, so I'm gonna try to keep this review nice and sweet, short and sweet, so that you can kind of get to the basics. Many of us in the PT realm are familiar with percussion guns already, and so the purpose of this is to show you what I like about this product particularly, what I wish it would have had, and how I plan to use this, or if at all, with my patients. So we're gonna open the box. So unzipping it, it's this nice, uh, easy to carry case. It's not very heavy, way less than 10 pounds for sure. And so it's got this little case or this little handle here for you to carry. And then when you open it, you get all the toys. So this is what the back camera looks like. It looks like this. And so without the heads in it, there are six different heads um, I'll include a picture for you guys to refer to on how you can use each of the instrument heads on different parts of the body, but you can also be creative, go by the feel, go by what the person whose experience it is feeling, um, and then go from there. So super easy to use, um, I haven't even taken off this little plastic piece, but you can. Um, what, there's a switch right here on the bottom, on or off, it is now on. So to actually turn it on, there's a touch screen. So this right here on the left indicates the power or speed that it's on. It goes from one to 20. And then on the right side is the battery percentage. So it's at 99% battery right now. Then you have the plus, which increases the speed, minus decreases the speed, power is right there in the middle. So to get it started, I turned it on and then I'm gonna put the one of the instrument heads in like so. And then I click the middle button to turn it on. And I'll do a close up of this too for you guys to see, but basically, so you can just kind of feel and observe the speed of it. It's pretty fast. And actually this is only level one. So if we go to, this is seven, like it goes crazy fast. So if it goes all the way up to 20, 18, 19, 20. That's a 20. It's like on video, I feel like you probably won't even see the head moving that much. Um, and then I turned it off. And then the, sound, the instrument heads are super easy to take on and off. So you just pull it on, off. And then you can grab another one of the, the, of the head. This is a flat one. Um, from the picture instructions, it kind of makes it seem like you use this on broader surfaces. And then that's it. It's as easy as that. You just put it in. Um, it doesn't click into place, you just kind of feel that there's a resistance so you know that it's in all the way, and then you click start, like so. Um, so to charge it, it should have, the battery should last you a few hours, and again, it has this indicator to let you know when you're running out. Um, to charge it, it's just got this cord and the plug-in, and so you just plug it into the wall, charge it overnight probably. Um, so yeah, that's it's as simple as that. So I wanted to use this review as kind of my, like what I think of it. Before I got this percussion, before I got the backhammer, I have tried another brand before. What I didn't like about the other brand is that it was very loud. It also didn't feel very good when I got it the first time. So I tried it on different parts of my body, like my leg, IT band, glutes, um, even on my traps. And after I experienced it, I don't know, the percussion kind of just made me feel like itchy because like, I don't know, I guess there may be increased blood flow to the area that that, that type and sort of stimulation was too much for me at the time. So I was a little bit reluctant to try the, the back camera, but then when I actually got it, 
I kind of liked it. So why I liked it was because it helped relax my muscles it felt like. So using it with a test retest I felt like pain was reduced, range of motion was slightly better for some areas. I don't really have a lot of restrictions in range of motion so it was hard for me to tell like a big difference but it should help with muscle tension, pain, and uh, yeah, so that's kind of what I would probably use it for. Would I use it as the sole purpose or base of my treatment? Probably not, but I think it'd be a good supplement to treatments or for myself. One thing I don't particularly love is this head right here. So I think it's a little bit, like if you were to be able to see the material at all, it's kind of a uh, foamy. It's supposed to be a soft head, but actually it's pretty firm if you were to try to squeeze it. I can't actually um, change it by squishing it, um, but it is relatively soft compared to the other heads that are made of more of a plastic, like this. So, I mean, why, why this head would be a downside would be using it between clients. Like, if they weren't wearing a shirt, then this would be a very hard material to clean between people. If I'm just using it between myself and my husband, no big deal. But since I am a doctor of physical therapy, I could potentially use this on patients, but this head, although I love the size of it and I could see multiple uses for it, um, I don't love this material very much. Maybe I would need to lay a towel down on a patient before I apply it to someone, but I really like that being applied to my thoracic paraspinals, my upper trap levator scap, um, and glutes-ish. Plus sides of the percussion gun, if you are the provider giving it to patients, is that you get to save your hands. You're not using your hands to apply the manual therapy as much for soft tissue work. You get to use the hammer. But for doing it on yourself, there's only so much you can reach on your own body. So lucky for me, my husband and I got to try it on each other and he, if laying prone, he could get the muscles between my shoulder blades a lot easier, my posterior chain a lot easier. Those are areas I can't quite reach myself without having to like contort into a different kind of awkward position, not being able to fully relax or at the optimal tissue length to perform it at. So definitely, I can see a lot of benefit for it in the clinic to using it on my patients. We haven't quite implemented it yet because I need to ask my supervisor, but it is also, I've only had this for a couple weeks now. My husband loves it. He does it all over his body. I really like it when he does it on my back, um, but I'm having a really positive experience with, with, with it so far. But again, there's pros and cons for it. I think there, it'd be really awesome if you were a provider. It'd be really awesome if you have a partner that you can, partner or friend that you can do it with so that you guys can trade. Like you can do it on them for a few minutes and then they do it for you for a few minutes. Um, and then it's convenient, it's quiet. The back hammer itself, I'm not sure if you could hear, was pretty quiet. It does not produce a lot of sound when you're doing it. It's not annoying. The motor is very, like, it's just nice. It's not, it's not gonna be a big distractor. Someone from the company also sent me a product discount code that I can send for you all to use and I will link that, I will include that in the show notes below so that you can find that discount code. But also if you check it out on my Instagram, I will be hosting a giveaway. I haven't picked when the deadline is, but hopefully by the time you got to this video, the giveaway is still open. If not, you will still have at least the discount code to use. All right, thank you guys so much for tuning in for this episode. I appreciate your support so much. If you could please give this video a thumbs up, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you're not already, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future episodes. Thank you so much.